May is by far the worst month for tornadoes in Texas. 30% of the state's tornadoes hit in May, 18% in April. Four days ago on April 28th, this Manor house had part of its roof ripped off by a tornado. 110 mile per hour winds also knocked down fences and damaged cars. It was a costly reminder that April and May are when almost half of the state's tornadoes blow through. In terms of the total number of tornadoes so far to this point in the year, we're basically dead on with the sort of the average over the last 10 or 20 years. Dr. Chris Nowatarski is a tornado researcher at Texas A&M University. He's studying the impact of climate change on tornadoes. The latest data shows the number of twisters in the United States isn't changing. What's different is where they're touching down. Signs of less tornadoes in Texas and Oklahoma, where we normally think of Tornado Alley, and more tornadoes in sort of the Mid-South, Southeastern United States, uh, like Alabama, Arkansas, those, those states. This EF3 tornado just hit Nebraska. Unlike Texas, it's a little early for tornadoes in that state, which is consistent with the Texas A&M research. We are actually seeing some signs that we're getting maybe less tornadoes in the spring and summer when we're normally used to seeing them, and then more in the fall and, and winter. So we're seeing sort of this broadening in time of tornado season. One of the top priorities of the Texas A&M research team is to give the public more confidence in tornado warnings. One of our goals is to eliminate the unnecessary warnings and increase the lead time for the warnings that do produce tornadoes. Dr. Noah Tarski says improvements in radar networks and computer modeling have more weak tornadoes being detected than ever before. He thinks the next big advance will be better understanding which weather conditions warrant a warning for people to take cover. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.